All right, hey, welcome here to Mind Muscle Memory. Uh, today, our program is going to go through a short video on the amazing opportunity you have to reconnect with your muscles, activate that muscle energy, and, and fuel yourself up without having to eliminate your favorite carbs. Okay, here at Mind Muscle Memory, the methods that we show you get you to rebound and get you to get active tone muscle which will use a lot of calories when you do your daily activities. Well, how do we go about that is, uh, is by looking at what we're doing for activities, specific activities to strengthen and reconnect to our muscles and how we eat. And what we eat is so important. It's, it's our daily foods that we have that are gonna give us the fuels that we need. So first I really wanna show you a little bit of a model here of, of what our active muscle tone is like. Our active muscle tone should be nice and, and um, tone and active, so that's what tone is. It really means partially contracted muscle uh, as opposed to atrophied muscle. So just kind of like when you, when you break a bone or you have a, a really big injury and you're immobilized, you can't use that muscle and, and you become immobilized and the muscles atrophy and they get smaller and they get weaker and after that after that injury, it's so important to then look at what you're going to do specific activities with a little bit of resistance, a little bit of focus. You're going to go from an atrophied muscle to an active tone muscle again. And that active tone muscle needs fuel, but it's also going to, when it's fueled properly and it's toned back up, it's going to use a lot more calories. Okay, so that's what we're looking at here. We're getting that, that uh, atrophied muscle that is not very active and tone using the energy it requires to back to being really tone active and using a lot of calories every day. So what energy do we use in there is, the, is very, very important. In order to get that, uh, uh, that muscle energy up, we have to look at what our muscle actually uses for energy. So we have uh, two examples of what you use for energy. You use sugar that's stored in your muscle and stored a little bit in your liver as well but about 2,000 calories is stored in your muscles, right? So just imagine that, you gotta, uh, as soon as this is filled up, what you don't have burned down in your muscles goes to body fat storage. Body fat is an excellent source of fuel, it's what our body would rather use every day, but we have to train our body to use it properly and we have to use specific activities and, and intensity levels to train our body to use our body fat at the right place. So when we're using a slower twitch muscle, we call slow muscle fibers, we're burning more aerobically, we're burning that body fat. When we're using our fast muscles or our anaerobic muscles, and we're doing our strength training or a little bit higher intensity work, we're burning that sugar down. All right? So you have to mod moderate between those two and, and change your intensity levels so you burn down the sugar. This needs to stay lower, uh, but not all the way to the bottom. Because if this stays at the bottom too much, we're going to overtrain. We have to. You, our foods are going to refuel this, and and we're going to moderate our activities between these two. And that's what we show you how to do. We show you how to burn this down, get your muscles toned up, reconnect to them, so that you're having this in the middle here, and it's always down a little bit every couple days. You're using that um, strength training to burn this down some. Otherwise, once it fills up then all the other calories that you take in are gonna to go to body fat storage. And that happens very steadily because our body is so amazing, right? Your body's amazing, like I said, all the time. Your body can be, um, uh, get weak, your body can get strong. Your body can uh, use that sugar, your body can uh, use that fat, and then you can get stored up to amazing levels too if we don't do much activity. So we really want you to focus here on you can learn this, it, it can happen quickly. It can happen real quickly for you that you'll be able to reconnect with those muscles, feel them getting toned up, and, and getting better fine motor skills um, as long as you stay focused on the methods that you're using, the patterns that you're using. And you can also learn real quickly how you can balance how much sugar you're using and how much body fat you're using. And really, over the course of time, you're going to need to have a little patience here that you'll get to a really amazing balance of how well you have that muscle energy stored for sugar and how that muscle energy is stored for fat. And that's when you can sustain that and keep it going for the long term. Okay? And there's one more piece that you really have to see here and that it's a learning process. 
okay? That, that maybe you, you've learned some of these things, some of these things make sense, but we want you to learn it all. We want you to practice it all. Because learning it and what you've studied is, is different from practice of it, okay? So it's these multiple pieces that you're gonna be able to have to, that we're gonna take you through and that you'll be able to um, apply. And it's in the application of these that mind muscle memory is so important. Um, and we want you to be able to get all the tools and all the resources here. We're gonna provide these to you and help you to answer questions and bring you through our methods so that you can have the sustained capacity throughout life that you, just like you see with so many others and others in, um, in our, my team, in our team here at Mind Muscle Memory and all of our clients are, are, are learning this and they're having amazing results. You see them all, um, all over and you'll be able to ask them questions as well. So thank you so much and uh, have any questions or comments, please go ahead and, uh, and put them right in here.